Hello and welcome back to my channel. So right now I want to talk about my slave over here who has been trying, who rebelled, who rebelled in my base despite the fact that he had high suppression. The reason why he rebelled and I had to attack him for that and now he's in a hospital bed uh, healing. The reason why he uh, attacked despite the fact that he has had high suppression is because of this area over here. As you can see there's weapon, right? And if you read over here it says the average number of days between slave rebellion attempts only time awake is counted. So when he's sleeping it doesn't matter. But he was awake when he rebelled despite the fact he had high suppression. Um, but the thing is that he was approx like suppression mood, health, proximity to weapons, the number of slave on the map, etc, etc. So there's two things you not you gotta take in consideration. Well, there's many things you may take in consideration even if they have high suppression over here. Okay, because the higher it is, the better it is. But there are exceptions, and this happened in the past. Uh, if there's weapons, when they see weapons, like here, let's say they come in clean in the hall, uh, they will be tempted to rebel, even if your suppression is very high. Uh, the other reason, the other one is the number of slaves on the map. So if there's a lot of slaves, uh, they will also be tempted to... To rebel because the more they are the more they you know want to rebel right and also there's the mood the health and um, that's it so right now I only have one slave so the only thing that may makes may will make him want to rebel despite the fact he, that he has high suppression are the weapon and if you look at the zone over here one second zone slave this is the one that I assign him to uh, this is all the area where he's assigned to for hauling and cleaning. But the mistake that I've done is that I forgot to remove this part over here. Well, the, actually the entire part. Or, uh, because he, the thing is when he comes in clean, which is good, he sees weapons. And when he sees weapon, he will, he may rebel even if his slave suppression is high. Which is why the only thing, there's two things I can do. I can either remove this area over here so he, didn't, he never comes here. But then I will have nobody to clean, you know, the room when needed be. And uh, the other thing is to move all the weapon over here, uh, which is what I'm going to do to weapon. All the weapon, I'm going to build them, uh, put them over here. So this is a new area I just built. By the way, this is a starter zone, which is why all the walls are like mostly in woods because I still didn't start replacing them with uh, you no know, stone blocks, which I will later on. Um, <clears throat> so basically what you're going to do is make, build a another area over here with stock zone. Um, I'm gonna put the weapon like I think this should be oh, this is more than I'm gonna put them here I think this is more than enough to be honest with you there we go uh, and here I'm gonna go here clear all weapon and that's it uh, I can put preferred if you want doesn't matter but as long as you don't have weapons allowed anywhere else this is for my uh, apparel um, so that's it so basically if I go back at the zone slave uh, slave and hall gotta make sure he doesn't come like in this area over here otherwise like I said he may rebel right now the only thing that this area will may be dirty so if it's dirty well you'll I'll have to bring somebody else for cleaning you know what I mean uh, and I'm, I can do the floor as well doesn't matter well floor well yeah well doesn't matter but there we go I can still do that uh, so yeah, that's it guys. So one right now he's healing. So as you can see, I kind of beat him up because he rebelled. He actually grabbed one of my pistol over here. He grabbed that pistol while he was cleaning and he rebelled. <laughs> so you don't want that to happen. Like I said, the other way he's going to rebel despite the fact that they have high suppression is if they have a lot of uh, slave like let's say there are many slaves in the same area they may want to rebel, rebel. So you will have to assign them a specific zone so that, you know, like slaves try not to to meet each other you know what i mean because if they're in the same area they'll be like hey how about we you know we make our way out of here you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah does that uh the mood the health so you got to make sure they're healthy like, let's see the mood the mood is pretty good actually the, yeah let's see the good the mood is well you got to see what what is it that makes them getting, you know, gives them like um, debuffs and stuff and stuff, cramp in terror. So he needs to get out. Well, that's because he's healing environment. So you got to make sure he has a nice place where, oh uh, yeah, that's disgusting because he's in a swamp. So I have to, I'm going to have to find another place where he can sleep with a, with a, because here I cannot put a floor because of it's, it's like on the, like a, the soil, like what is it? Marshy soil. Yeah. So I cannot put like uh, flooring as you can see over here. I can't, yeah, I can't. So I'm going to have to make a bed for him. Hmm, I can do it over here actually. So that will be for slave. 
there we go. So then I'm going to remove this uh, for colonists like this. And then he's going to go by himself, I believe, over here. Meaning that his debuff will disappear, I think. Darkness, it will disappear. There we go, see? Now it's getting higher. Uh, unsightly environment, doll hospital, Jaluf, cramp interior. Well, yeah, well, that's because you're healing. But that's not too shabby. That's not too, that's, that's, that's not too bad, that's very good. And yeah, so you get to double check that. And what makes him low, the, the demon, if he can fix it, fix it. Jaluf, well, yeah, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. Well, I mean, there's something I can do about it, but I don't want to do it, so I'm going to deal with that. But the most important thing, like I said, uh, is the weapon. You know, make sure they don't see the weapon if you put them somewhere. And um, the, the amount of slave in the base. So if they all meet up each other in the same room at the same time, well, you may have a rebel. All right, guys? So if that's only uh, that's in the situation, in the context where you want them to clean. You know, you want them to clean or haul. So it depends what you make them do. So, you know, he, this is... So, so it depends. Do you want him to craft? Do you want him to... Depends on, uh, you know, his attributes. What is his attribute again? Yeah, well, yeah. He cannot do much, I guess. He, <laughs> yeah, he can only... I uh, Yeah, da, 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 da. Disable work type. Well, I know. He can haul. Incapable of hauling. What are you talking about? He can haul. Look. Well, I know he can clean. I know he can haul because I saw him hauling before. So I'm not sure what, why, what's going on. But anyway, guys, just want to talk about the slaves. So let me know if you guys find it useful. And oh, yeah, one more thing, the gear. So yeah, so you may also have the gear. So I have a slave body strap and I got slave collar, which also help for the suppression rate. All right, so this guy over here. Uh, as you can see, zero per zero percent uh, suppression fall rate. So that's very good. That's what you want, actually. Uh, the terror, well, it depends on, see this thing over here, uh, I'm gonna uh, put, 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 I'm gonna put it here. So wherever the, the slaves are sleeping or like recuperating, you want to have, make sure you have like, uh, you know, like statue or anything that will make them, you know, terror, that will, that will terrorize them so that it will also help you in having a higher suppression and, you know, so terror needs to go higher, but I have nothing here to terrorize them. Like I said, I just started building, building this base. So yeah, and also taking consideration depending on your ideology. Ideology. So if you have too many of this, then it doesn't go hand in hand with your ideology. So you may get a debuff for everybody. So if this guy doesn't like school, and you know, or even cage, or even dead people in a cage, so you may get a debuff for these guys. So you gotta check it out if it works or not. So you gotta be careful. There's a lot of if, 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 if. So yeah. So yep. So me, I put like a, a skull, like this guy over here, uh, wherever he, he is cleaning. So I'm going to have to put one over here. Did I put one over here? I thought I did. Yeah, see, well, I'm still building it. All I'm missing is skull. Skull. Sorry, skull. <laughs> I say skull. So yeah, guys, so let me know what you guys think. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. helps. And um, yeah, please like and sub. Cheers. So right now, I'm going to put all the weapons over here. Uh, yeah. The weapons will be dis will disappear. Where's the weapon? Yeah, so somebody's gonna come and haul them all when they can. Alright, well, who's my hauler? Yeah, I don't have a lot of people, so yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way. 